सी वन मोर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशियंट नाउ वी नीड टू सॉल्व डी टू वाई बाई डी एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस नाइन वाई इक्वल टू सी केंट थ्री एक्स ना हाउ विल वी गो अहेड विद दिस कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन इज इजी बट लुक एट द आर एच एस वी हैव सी केंट थ्री एक्स नाउ टिल नाउ वी नो द रूल फॉर ई पावर ए एक्स कॉस ए एक्स और साइन ए एक्स Uh, e power x into v x raised to power n and so on, but not rule for something like secant three x. So finally, let's see a general rule for finding the particular integral. And rule uh, is like that: if you have, you know, this is the basic format f of d into y equals to q, where q is a function of x. Now. If q is any function of x, any function of x, then the particular integral is one upon one upon d minus alpha. That means you will have to generate a linear factor here at the denominator, and here uh, q. Okay. So this can be written as e power. alpha x integral of e power minus alpha x into q dx now this is the final rule rule number 6 as it says that whenever you have any function of x just do th this thing in denominator create linear factors here whatever q you have now This can be written like this: e power alpha x integral of e power minus alpha x q into dx. Now, let's uh, use this. So, first of all, our main uh, concentration will be on finding the complementary function. So, for that, convert this into a d form. So, we can write this as d square plus nine times y equals to. Secant three x. Now, this is in d form. Convert it into m form to find the complementary function. So m square plus nine equals to zero. This is the auxiliary equation. M square equals to minus nine. M equals to plus minus three iota is what we are getting. Now we can write this as m one is zero plus three iota, and m two is zero minus three iota. So we can move ahead with the complementary function. That will be e power a x cos b x c one cos b x plus c two sine b x. E power zero x is one only, so you are getting complementary function as c one cos three x plus c two sine three x. Now moving ahead to the main portion, which is to find the particular integral. So particular integral always written in this format: one upon f of d into whatever is in the RHS. Now here. f of d is uh, this d square plus nine. Okay, so we can write this in the form of factors. So d plus three iota and d minus three iota, operating on secant three x. Is it fine if we write uh, this in this form? Because a plus b a minus b will give us a square minus b square. That is nine iota square. Iota square is minus one, so this gives us d square plus nine. Okay, fine. Now these are two linear factors. Okay. Now what we will do? We will manipulate this and. uh write something in the numerator just uh remember what we used to do in the partial fraction so just like that so i can write this as uh, uh 
डी प्लस थ्री आयोटा माइनस डी माइनस थ्री आयोटा डिवाइडेड बाय दिस डिनोमिनेटर ऑपरेटिंग ऑन सीकेंड थ्री एक्स ना लुक एट दिस डी एंड डी विल गेट कैंसिल यू विल गेट सिक्स आयोटा विच इज एक्स्ट्रा टर्म सो डिवाइड बाय सिक्स आयोटा so in the last step you can think like this multiply and divide by 6 iota and write that 6 iota in the terms of denominator now 1 upon 6 iota this divided by this you will get 1 upon d minus 3 iota operating on secant 3x minus 1 upon d plus 3 iota operating on secant 3x now is it fine because you are getting a linear factor in both uh, things so you can write this in the form of two integral 1 upon 6 iota outside here d minus alpha so what is your alpha here alpha is your 3 iota so i will write this as e power alpha e power alpha x so what was your alpha this is the suitable form because d minus alpha and this is also d minus 3 iota so alpha is straight away 3 iota so e power 3 iota look at this an integral of e power minus 3 iota and we can write secant x let's write this secant 3x only for the time being minus again this time if you write this in the form of d minus so i can write this like this d minus minus of 3 iota so uh, this time my alpha is minus of 3 iota so e power alpha x so minus 3 iota x inside i will have e power minus alpha x so 3 iota okay x is also there so and with that we have qx which is secant 3x dx so let's assume this as i 1 this as i 2 because uh, we don't have a lot of space so we'll solve separately and then we'll finally come to this particular step so i 1 is let i have only assumed this integral as i 1 not with e power 3 iota x so this is i 1 so i 1 is integral e power minus 3 iota x secant 3x i can write as 1 upon cos 3x now e power iota theta is cos theta plus iota sin theta e power minus iota theta is cos theta minus iota sin theta so this is cos 3x minus iota times sin 3x Whole divided by cos 3x dx integral. So I will get one minus iota tan 3x dx. So i one I am getting as one minus iota tan 3x dx. Integral of one is simply x. Integral of uh, tan is log secant so iota as it is log secant 3x divided by this derivative of 3 which is uh, 3x which is 3 so this is my first which is i1 similarly if i go for i2 which was my e power 3 iota x into secant 3x dx now i can write this as 
again e power iota theta is cos theta plus iota sin theta so this is cos 3x plus iota sin 3x divided by uh, 1 upon uh, i can write this as 1 upon cos 3x so cos 3x dx so i will get 1 plus iota tan 3x integration of 1 is x and that of tan 3x is log secant 3x divided by derivative of 3x which is 3. So I have got these two integrals which is i1 and i2. So uh, my particular integral which I was solving was uh, 1 upon 6 iota inside I had e power 3 iota x with i1 and then I had minus of e power minus 3 iota x with i2. This was uh, my equation. Okay. Now I substitute uh, the values of i1 and i2. So I will get 1 upon 6 iota. i1 is x minus iota log secant 3x divided by 3. Okay. With e power 3 iota x and with minus of e power minus 3 iota x I have this thing i2 which is x plus iota log secant 3x divided by 3. Now two formulas which will be handy in this particular question is e power iota theta minus e power minus iota theta divided by 2 iota is sin theta and e power iota theta plus e power minus iota theta divided by 2 is cos theta. So we will be using these two formulas for that I am writing this as 1 upon 6 iota. This multiplied by x and this multiplied by x. I am taking x common. So I will be left with e power 3 iota x minus e power minus 3 iota x and this multiplied by this and this multiplied by this. So in that I will take uh, iota log secant 3x by 3 if I take common I will be let with e power 3 iota x minus uh, with that I have minus also so minus and plus here uh, I have taken this common so minus of e power 3 iota x perfectly fine I have taken this common so again a uh, minus sign and e power minus 3 iota x. Now if you look at this, this resembles the first one just we need 2 iota to multiply and divide. So I will get 1 upon 6 iota. This will become sin theta. So 2 iota x into sin theta. What about this? Uh, if I take minus sign common, so if I take minus sign common log secant 3x divided by 3, inside I will get e power 3 iota x plus e power minus 3 iota x. So I just need to multiply and divide by 2. So if I take minus sign, let me write this once again. So e power 3 iota x plus e power minus 3 iota x divided by 2 and 1 more 2. So 1 upon 6 iota 2 iota x sin theta minus now if I take minus sin so reciprocal of secant will be cos so plus iota log cos 3x divided by 3 and this becomes your uh, using this formula this will become cos 
थ्री एक्स इंटू टू सॉरी दिस विल बिकम साइन थ्री एक्स नॉट थीटा साइन थ्री एक्स नाउ वट एज आई कैन डू आई कैन टेक दिस I can separate out the real and imaginary portion, but first of all, take this six iota inside. So six iota, so iota iota cancelled. Two by six is one by three. So x sine three x divided by three, and then I have this term. So I will get uh, iota log cos three x. Into cos three x divided by nine. Okay, so this is my particular integral. My final answer will be C F plus P I. What was my C F? My C F was C one cos three x plus C two sine three x. and this is my pi x sin 3x divided by 3 plus iota times log cos 3x uh times cos 3x divided by 9 so this is my final answer uh, i hope you just understood this question this was a easy one just the new rule which we learnt in this question and so far a easy problem to deal with